in terms of uh, the future, sir, uh, uh, Jamse Ji Tata has been always uh, called the man who saw tomorrow. Uh, JRD has been the dawn of Indian industry, the only one to be conferred the Bharat Ratna. You yourself have led the group to becoming the most globalized in the last quarter century and such a great financial success. If we look at the next 150 years, what would be uh, the role or even the next 50 years, what would be the role of uh, the Tata Group in terms of uh, in terms of uh, contributing to nation building, contributing to catalyzing the change in industry, any of those things you would like to say, how the Tatas would be for India. Because the Tatas have been a very different company. Uh, I've read so many interviews by JRT, his letters, your interviews. It's not the run of the mill company which focuses on... You see, I, I think the landscape would be different. Uh, last 150 years, Tata's would have started Jamsaji's time, textile, steel, power, hospitality, the things that were nation building, okay. and part of the national in infrastructure, because the country needed them. Right. Uh, we're now in an area where we are doing things because we believe there is a market for uh, for what we're doing. So, be it IT, be it uh, consumer e-commerce, e yes. etc. It's because there is this market and we are serving that market. But it's by and large the Indian market. You take the next 50 years, India is going to be a country that will make its mark on international markets. It will be the next China, if you like. And uh, the, the time when India would be set to arrive, in my view, is when we were covering new technology that we own ourselves rather than acquire or license or imitate or reverse engineer. Yeah. So some of what I said earlier in terms of bypassing the agricultural route and crops, etc., producing food in, in the lab, uh, becoming self-sufficient in water, those are the kinds of things that uh, I think you would see India as being, Indian industry being driven to to do this. Not today, it's uh, financial services, it's IT, etc. I think that will change. Right. right. Do you think any values will change while living up to this hyper competitive era? Uh, the values that we hold so uh, close to ourselves as Tata Group, as India. Uh, any challenges you foresee in matching up to? I think there are though. Whenever you get ultra com competitive, as you as you put it, there will be that demand to to let that ethics go a little bit to make that happen. And I hope so. I think those kinds of pressures are going to be on all the Indian industries and the sincerity of the government in pushing forward rather than uh, appeasing corruption to let that happen and the steadfast sincerity of the industry to to work at something rather than to manipulate the data would be another. Yeah.